Hi guys, a few videos back I replaced the LiPo battery inside my little nanocopter with a newer battery because the old battery wasn't holding charge long enough to actually fly the nanocopter. It wouldn't even get it off the ground. I put the old battery into this styrofoam aeroplane that I'd made quite a while ago and converted to electric power using this tiny vibrating toothbrush motor. And to fit the LiPo battery on it, on here, I actually provided some little connectors. I got the male and female connectors so that I can actually charge the battery and then plug it into the motor. And those connectors I bought in a pack from eBay, so we've got the male and female connectors here. And today's little project, I'm going to provide one of those connectors on this electric motor, which drives this little hovercraft that I made a while back, so that I'll be able to plug that LiPo battery into there and see if it's got enough power to float my hovercraft. I have got another LiPo battery, slightly bigger, brand new one that I bought off eBay, but I just want to make use of this old one for as long as I can get some power out of it before I finally dispose of it. So that will be today's project. Um, I've got some Velcro already in place there for holding the other battery that was on here. So I'll put some Velcro on the back of the little LiPo battery so we can just plug it in. When I've finished doing that and tested it, the next thing I'll do is, this is my nice new LiPo battery which is too big to use on the, um, well originally, <laughs> too big to fit on the nanocopter, it's about four times too big, but I'm going to connect that up to this little charger board which takes a, is it micro USB? So that can be connected straight on top of there, then I'll also fit one of these connectors onto it so we can charge it and plug it straight into whatever we want to plug that into. But that will be a separate video. Positive on my right, negative on my left, oh, that one doesn't want to come off. Come on, don't be awkward. There we go. New connector, and a pre-tinned. Just long enough. left. Positive on the right. I do need to recharge that. I haven't charged it up yet. Let's just see if it works. Yep, that's the right way round. So, I'll take this off the aeroplane, put a bit of velcro on the back of it so we can stick it in place and charge it up. And a little bit of velcro on there so that sticks in place. Get it the right way up. Okay, I'll now put that on charge. find the bits. There's my portable USB charger. Where's the charging lead? Charging lead. I don't know if that LED is visible. Bit of a glow there. When we plug it in it should go out. There we go. And when it's charged, the LED should come back on again. 
LED is a light in there now. I think you can just about see that. So that means it's fully charged. It's gone puffy again, so that's not good. <laughs> you can hear it's not holding charge very long, is it? It's also much lighter than the battery that was there, so that was tipping down at the back. A bit of blue tack. See if that's enough to make it sit sit level. <laughs> I think the truth is that battery's had it. charge in there at the moment. Let's have a look. Oh yes. I've added a little on off switch now. So That looks fine. We'll have to go and test it in the kitchen. But before we do that, I'll just have a look at the actual charging circuit. So again, I've got my portable charger here. I've also got a charger doctor, so we can look at what sort of amps, milliamps, we're putting into the charger. So, well, you can read that as well as I can. And the little red LED is on indicating that it's charging. While that one's charging, I'll just go back to this old LiPo battery from the Nanocopter and you can see it's all puffed up. I had actually pierced the casing or the outer packaging to let the gas out and then resealed it and clearly charging it up again has puffed it up again so it's definitely not very happy with life and it's going to have to be retired. It's fully charged. We've now got a little blue LED light and it's gone down to zero milliamps I've actually left it in the kitchen where we've got um, stone worktops just in case anything dramatic went wrong. But that seems to have gone through absolutely fine. So, I will test it. Pull that off there. Stick it on the front. That looks fine. So we'll put it on the floor and give it a run. I actually put an extra bit of blue tack on the front there because it looked like it was a bit light on the front anyway. In case you're wondering why it's spinning, I've got these vents on the back to try and stop the 
auto rotation. So if I try and bend them the other way a bit, see if we can get it to go the other way. Well, that's nearly straightened it up, hasn't it? When I say that works, job done, that's everything works. So my portable power bank, my charger doctor, my USB lead, my USB charger manager, whatever you call it, and the LiPo battery, and the connectors, and the on-off switch. So I'm quite pleased with that. We can do that anywhere we like now.